So, in this video I'm going to show you how to record transactions using an SHDB. So you can record all manual steps of a transaction using transaction code SHDB. All manual steps get recorded on a SHDB. Then you can later on call from a function model to run the transaction code or program. It is very useful when you don't want to use the normal SAP screens and you don't want to use and you want to use another more friendly interface or friendlier interface. For example, a WebDIM Pro interface. So, for example, I'm going to show you how to record the creation of a new user in transaction SUSE01 creating an ASHDB and later on on, a first, on, a, on another video I'm going to create a WebDimper application to create a user in SAP using transaction code SU01 The first thing we're going to do is to create a user in transaction SU01 so let's get familiarized with this transaction. So inside this transaction, we can create users. So for example, let's create a user for John Malkovich. So it's going to be J Malkov. And then we're going to click on create. Then we're going to fill the required field, the last name. Malkovich and the first name John and we're going to complete some other data for example the user type it's going to be a di dialogue user we need an alias so the alias can be the same as the user and we need a new password for this user so we're going to create the initial password initial zero zero repeat password again initial zero zero and we're going to save this user so that's how you create a user in transaction su01 but we want to create another web dim pro interface or a web interface to create users so we need to record all these manual steps I just performed in an automatic way using the SHDB so I go back to transaction SHDB and I click on new recording this recording is going to be user create that's the name and I'm going to use trans I'm going to record transaction SU01. I'm going to leave asynchronous and I'm going to leave all the options like this. So I'm going to start recording. So I have to be careful right now because I don't have to make any mistakes in the recording of a user. So I type in my user. Let's try another user for this example because we already created J Malkovich. So this is going to be called for Peter Parker. So P Parker. And click on create. The last name, Parker. First name, Peter. Then let's go to the logon data. Dialog user. The alias P Parker and a new password for Peter Parker so initial 00, zero initial 00, zero and we save so now the recording is completed so as you can see all this code appears and we it has all the input that we made on the screens so I save my SHDV recording and now the recording was saved and I go back 
and I can see my recording gets saved. So I can use this recording later on from a function model to replicate the creation of a user. I can process again my SHDV. I can run it just to check how, how it is done. And I can go step by step, taking a look at each, at each screen, what is going on. In this case, the SHDV is trying to run and create the same user it al we already created. So it's not going to work. That's why we need to replicate this from a function model where we can save, when we can send parameters and values to the recording and we can create different users.